All right, coming to the CW, a new breakout show surrounding Tom Swift. You might know the character from Nancy Drew. Super excited about this. So let's chat with some of the stars. And joining me right now is Tion Richards and Ashley Murray. Hey, guys, how's it going? Hey. So What's nice up? to chat with you. Super excited about the show. And, you know, first of all, you set up the series. For anyone who hasn't seen Nancy Drew, I think Tom Swift was part of the second season. Give us a little idea of what the series is about. Okay, so in Nancy Drew, you kind of got in, uh, like a prequel to who Tom Swift was, but he's this young gay billionaire tech inventor who is looking to build a spaceship for his dad and his acceptance to send him to Saturn for the first time. So where we pick up in our series, he's just built the ship and we're at the launch. So we do the launch and some things kind of go awry. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's this very shady group behind the disappearance of my father. So I team up with my Swift squad, my best friend Zinzi, my bodyguard Isaac, my AI Barclay, and my little brother Lino. And we go out on all these missions across the world to piece together what happened and also uncover a lot of things that we didn't know existed. Yeah. Yeah. What a great setup for the show. I'm totally intrigued. It sounds really cool and very different. Ashley, tell me a little bit about playing the bestie. You know what? The thing that I love about this is that even though Zenzi is Tom's best friend, she is also very much her own person. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been talking about this all day and Tian always describes it right, that Zenzi is not dependent on Tom in order to exist. Yeah. And Zenzi is just as strong and as smart and as capable as Tom. She just oscillates in a different um, in a different world, even though they're together. Mm -hmm. uh, she works for Swift Enterprises. Her family and Tom grew up together. That's why they have such a long-standing mm -hmm. bond. And, you know, it's like the best friend aspect comes in when Tom is out here being chaotic. Chaotic, because she totally <laughs> grounds it. And you get to see her be a, a female co-lead in a different way. Like, her storyline isn't contingent upon mine. She's not just waiting for me on the sidelines, but she really is her own person. And we take up space, like she said, in different ways. And, and, I, and I love that, because it's a thing of support and a partnership and, and, it's, and again, a different type of relationship. Yeah. And it's not about me putting her down or pushing her to the side. It's not a sidekick. It's like, oh, this is my right hand woman yes, and I'm a right hand I, man. I am the right hand. I'm, I'm the yin to the yang. You know, mm -hmm. I am the gravity Somebody in his orbit. You know, I yeah. am the Jiminy Cricket. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I'm using all those to my husband yeah. now later. I was like, by the way, this is who I am to you. <laughs> By the way, in case you didn't know, you can call me Jiminy. Exactly. Jiminy. I'm using all of those. Very, very cool. You guys seem to have really great chemistry. What's what's it been like being on the show together? You're, I mean, just having this interview, you guys just kind of really play off each other. Yeah, you know, it's been really great. It's it's been really great, and it's it's honest. Like yeah. it was immediate. Yeah. You know, I, I as soon as he popped up on the screen on when the I got Zoom. to do <laughs> my chemistry read with him, I was like, oh my god, he feels like family. Yeah. And it's true. From the moment he like when I booked the role, he sent me an email. Was like, hey, let's set up a chat where we can talk on Zoom and get to know each other. And I was like, what? also annoying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl, let's hang out. And I was like, oh, I only have like thirty or forty five minutes, and I really did and then I looked up and two hours went by and we were just sitting on the zoom talking and I'm wondering talking just... twirling my hair go what you mean yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> and you know he he and the thing about Tian is he has been so kind and so supportive and has spoken into me so deeply in a way that I have not experienced mm. you know he was championing me from the moment that we started and, you know, is always reminding me that this is just as much mine as it is his and that it's a two-hander and he does everything he can to make sure that when we are working and working through scripts that he is constantly supporting me and that there isn't any kind of like underlying shade or cutting me down, you know, mm -hmm. to really allow me to shine because we both can yeah. and we both do. And, and that's a beautiful thing about our show. It's about identity. And so many times you see strong men show up and we're getting a chance to see a strong man show up in a different way. But let's not forget behind that is the love and support of a beautiful woman that helped him get there and to help him actualize. And we get to see that in the generational sense. We get to see that in the historical sense on the show. And I'm so, you know, just excited for people to see that love take place, to see you know, us as a culture, as a group, as a people, tell these human stories, you know? Because you don't traditionally get to see people that look like us occupy 
tech and opulence and money and all those great things that we're doing here. Yeah, they are doing some wonderful things on the show. And I think you guys just kind of did that interview in a nutshell. Very good job there. Now I'm waiting for the podcast, the Tom Swift podcast that you'll both hopefully do during the show because you would nail it. That's such a great way to describe it. So excited to see the, see the show. We have to kind of wrap here with one really quick question. There is a huge tech element to all of this. Tell me really quick a little bit about the AI character. Oh, so I think he's voiced by this this new actor on the scene. What is his name? LeVar Burton. Yeah, that yeah. guy. <laughs> that guy. You know, he just did some historical stuff called Roots. I think he did like a project I watched as a kid reading Rainbow. <laughs> and he was also in Star Trek. He just just encapsulate the entire human experience in this world. Oh, no. <laughs> <We're doing the laughs> I agree. The show. He's like a fairy godfather. So just to have his voice always in our ear and just, you know, motivating us and helping us problem solve. And he is the, like the secret weapon of the show. And yeah, I love that. Yeah. That he gets to, to take this journey with us. So very cool. The show sounds amazing. You guys were awesome. Thank you so much. I think if anyone watches this interview, they will be tuning in. Tom Swift, you can catch it on The CW. Have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for chatting. Thank you. Uh, come on over to Swift Enterprises. Oh, <laughs> I would love to. You call me anytime. Look, if you can dream it, we can make it happen. We can make it happen. <laughs> okay, seriously, you guys are my favorite. Seriously, thank you. 100%. Bye, girl. Bye, All right, we'll dance friend. out. We'll dance out as we say goodbye. There we go. Okay. Nice job. <laughs>